Hello and welcome to the Bridge Valley Update for Monday, April the 19th. Thank you for tuning in. Be sure to click the subscribe button and give us a like. I'm going to start this week by going backwards a little bit. You may have seen us in the local news for Law Enforcement Career Day. It was hosted by Bridge Valley in South Charleston, and it was in partnership with the FBI and local law enforcement agencies. So if you're interested in a career in law, law enforcement, hopefully you were able to attend. I also want to mention we've got some good coverage recently from one of our students, Samantha Fox, in our brewing program. Um, she was in the paper recently talking about her apprenticeship program in Lewisburg. So congratulations to Samantha. Now I'd like to look forward to events happening this week. First, I want to mention today is Military Appreciation Day and a big thank you to Missy for putting together the tribute video. Tomorrow is the virtual career fair, so be sure to have your resume ready. I'll put the registration link if you're a student and you'd like to participate. I'll put that in the description box below, so be sure to mark it on your calendar tomorrow, virtual career fair. On Wednesday, we're excited that there is another financial literacy workshop, and this is in partnership with BB&T, now Truist, and it will be at 1215, and be sure to check your email for the Zoom link. It'll be talking about building savings and establishing credit, so a great workshop to help make sure you've got your financial ducks in a row. And speaking of ducks, that kind of leads me into Thursday. It is Earth Day. And a big thank you to Lana Andrea, and she's been great about organizing Earth Day for years, and she's done a great job this year again. There's going to be some on-campus things at the Advanced Technology Center in South Charleston from 11.30 to 1, and it will be outside. If you're a student, you can pre-register, and we'll put the link in the description box below, to make a planter so you can, you know, if you're a green thumb and you're good with plants, this is for you. You can make a planter and take it home. They're also going to be giving away some small black cherry trees. And there's also going to be an opportunity if you're doing some spring cleaning, you've decided to apply some Marie Kondo techniques and declutter, there's the opportunity for you to bring in some of your old electronics and clothing that are in good condition. And then you can bring it in and if there's something you like, you can exchange it or you can leave it and it will be donated for Earth Day. There's also going to be two Zoom activities for Earth Day at 11. There's going to be a Zoom activity for sharing your Earth Day memories. And it could be a project you've done in the past. It could be an experience hiking or doing things outdoors. And then at 12, there's going to be a second Zoom interaction. And it's going to be some upcycling activities, ways you can upcycle things around your home, and also how to make compost. So thank you again, Lana, for pulling together Earth Day activities. And now I'd like to turn it over to Sarah Price for information about movie night. Hi everyone, it's Sarah, your coordinator of student engagement here at Bridge Valley. And today I wanna to talk to you about our upcoming spring family movie nights. Now we have two of these happening in April. The first will be on Friday, April 23rd at the Montgomery campus in the parking lot behind the grid. We will um, begin the evening at six o'clock with an outdoor carnival for kids. There'll be a lot of games, opportunities to win prizes. We'll have things like cornhole, prize wheels, tic-tac, toe, all kinds of stuff, just giant spread across the parking lot. So bring your family, bring um, your friends, come out and have fun with that. At that event, we're also um, going to have a food truck on site should you wish to purchase food. Um, we will be welcomed by the Save by Grace Barbecue and Grill Cave, I believe out of Hamlin. So excellent food. If nothing else, at least come out and get you some dinner. Now following the carnival around dusk, so around 8.15 or 8.30 or so, we're going to kick off the evening with our movie. Um, so you'll be able to drive in, We'll have a giant screen set up and we are showing The Crudes A New Age. So a lot of fun, grab your family, grab your friends, grab yourself, fun for all ages and come and join us in Montgomery on April 23rd. Now the following week on April 30th, which is also a Friday, we are having our drive-in movie night in South Charleston at the Advanced Technology Center. Now this one kind of comes with a twist. The movie that we're showing at dusk is Trolls World Tour, but before that from 6 to 8 we're actually having an open mic night. So if you are interested in performing, um, please get with Michelle Wicks 
or email the Office of Student Life, email me, and um, we will be happy to give you the link to register for that. It, it will be ac acoustic performances, so anyone, um, Bridge, Valley, Bridge Valley family, um, the public, anyone who would like to come and play, absolutely apply to do that because we would love to have you. Um, so on the 30th, we are having the open mic night followed by a free drive-in showing of Trolls World Tour. Now, these are open to the public. Um, of course, as Bridge Valley students, faculty, and uh, staff, you're both more than welcome, but anyone, honestly, is welcome to come to these events. The one thing I do ask you to remember, though, is to make sure that you're following all social distancing policies. Um, you have a mask on at all times. Um, you know, we want to make this a uh, fun thing to do, a fun outdoor event, but we also want to make it as safe as possible. So if you'd like some more information on that, be sure to check out the weekly What's Happening in Student Life email. You can also check out the Bridge Valley Student Affairs Facebook page. There's actually specific events on there with more information. And as always, you can email me, sarah.price at bridgevalley.edu, or email the Office of Student Life at officeofstudentlife at bridgevalley.edu. Thanks so much, and we hope to see you then. Bye. Thanks, Sarah. I'd like to end this video by congratulating two of our Board of Governors members. They were elected chair and vice chair last week during their meeting. So congratulations to Ashley Deem and Mark Blankenship, and thank you for coming on board. Thank you to all of you for watching, and I'll see you next week.